swept all that they had faced before them. The kingdoms of the Spanish, the Portuguese, and our Aquitanian neighbors. One by one, Christianity in Western Europe was being conquered. I knew that eventually the eyes of the Muslim kings would stray to my kingdom, for it was prosperous. So I prepared. I sent out scouts and spies to my borders to know exactly when and where the Muslims attacked. I trained my soldiers to fight as professionals instead of a levy drawn up of farm boys and peasants at a moment's notice. The threat of Muslim invasion loomed over my entire reign. It was in the year of our Lord, 732, when I heard word from one of my spies that the Muslim army was marching from the captured city of Poitiers to my city of Tours. I marshaled my forces and went to meet them. I did not use the old Roman roads, for they would have alerted the Muslims to my presence. Because the Muslims were so overconfident in their abilities, they did not scout, and so it must have seemed as if I simply appeared in their path. I found a hill between the two cities where I made my camp. When the Muslims met me, they waited five days. On the sixth day, they attacked. The Muslim horsemen were the best in the world. But we were Franks. We made a shield wall, rank of shields, whole rank of shields, whole rank of shields, with spears jutting from every protrusion. The so Muslims came again and again, and each time they were beaten back. It was like waves crashing against the beach. I knew we could not hold out indefinitely, so I called to one of my captains and ordered him to send some troops around the Muslims to attack their camp. When, well, they caused havoc in the enemy camp, stealing treasure, letting loose prisoners, destroying things. The Muslims began to fall back in droves. They feared for their plunder. Their leader tried to rally them, but he was surrounded by my troops and slain. The Muslims, without a leader and fearing for being encircled, began falling back to their holes in Iberia. I do not believe that the Muslims will threaten my kingdom again. They have been humbled. The Battle of Tour was not my first battle. <laughs> Far from it. I have spent my entire life fighting off Muslim invasions from the south, raids from the Northmen in the seas, and incursions from the Saxons to the north. I have spent time facing off usurpers from inside my own kingdom. The very first battle that I ever faced, or not the first, but one of the first, was my father was dead. I was his illegitimate son, but his favorite, and I was the heir to become mayor of the palace of the Frankish kingdoms. But my stepmother would not allow this. She wanted her own son to become mayor of the palace. So when I became of age to take my throne, I was thrown into prison. There I waited two years until a member of my father's oath sworn, his bodyguard, took the keys off the guard's belt and let me free. I gathered those still loyal to the rightful heirs of the Frankish kingdoms, and I defeated my stepmother and her son in battle. I took my place as king, and I must say, since I became ruler, the Frankish kingdom has prospered a thousand times more than they had. Even this was not my first battle. The very first members, or my very first memories of combat was alongside my father, subjugating the fractured Frankish tribes. They had separated, you see, since the Merovingians, our predecessors, had lost control. We founded a new kingdom of the Franks, one stronger than the one before. Now, as I said before, I've spent my entire life facing off barbarian raiders and invasions. But what has driven me the most mad, or makes me, or what I like the least about my position in the Mayor Palace is petty court politics. And I know that my advisors are beckoning for me now, but I know that they will not take me from this. So I have time for a few questions before I must go deal with them.